this gum tree weighs an absolute ton. Let's see how we got into this predicament, starting with dragging it home. This here is what's commonly known in the trade as a piece of metal. Now, I'm going to be welding this, not like that, like that. Yeah. And then I'm going to weld that, drill that. That's the lintel. I'm going to cut a tenon on there. So this is effectively going to be a mortise. That then is going to weld to the shed. Shed? My God. Yeah, container there. Lintel across the head of the door. And another bracket there where that end is going to sit. So first of all, let's get these cleaned up and welded up. Get that spider off me. I'm going to tack weld here and here. Then I'm going to drill probably three, one, two, three holes maybe, maybe two, two holes there and there. So they correspond perfectly. So when that's then re-put together and I drill through, it will locate in the tenon of the beam perfectly. You'll see. So the tack welded up now. All I've got to do is drill them. Now I've ground them all down, ground that, uh, burr off. So drill the holes and um, break the weld, turn around, weld them together. So I've got one done. All right, so that's both of them complete. Yeah, all done. Bit of a mess inside there, love. What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> Bit of a mess outside here too. Yeah. I'm just trying to work out because this window's coming out. Yep. I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to fix the posts, the gems, mm -hmm. to here. If the wall's going to go in. Because all these doors, these doors to open, right? Yeah. So the wall's got to go further back. Yeah. Containers aren't in line. Yeah. They're not parallel. They're not truly square. Mm. And also, this C channel here is too far forward. Yeah. For that jam. So the, the jam's got to go further back. The window's going to go further back. Yeah. The door. There's nothing under here to support it. So I'm trying to work out in my head how to support it mm -hmm. best way I can with, with a lack of materials. I mean, ideally it would be dig a decent foot in, put a post in mm -hmm. and a plate and support it. But yep. don't have that. So I've got to MacGyver it. So there's a strip of floor that's quite narrow we could take up so you can get to it from this side. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's going to make a lot of sense now I can get to it because I was looking at being underneath in the dirt and the dust the dogs mm, licking me yeah I don't know what they lick <laughs> and this way I can do it from all above and put the post in and then scribe the floor to it yeah much better So good. It's pretty close then. Yeah, as I said, I cut it 50 mil, wow. 60 mil long. Yeah. Put that tape on my legs just started. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. That's worth so much more money now, look. Yeah, it's got your signature on it. Yeah. 
What do you reckon? A bit of a resemblance there, yeah. Knock a few teeth out. Be spot on. There we go. <laughs> okay. Lintel. I know, that's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit dodgy. Well, that's my middle name. You've got <laughs> Reckless Riley. And you've got Stupid Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to weld it on here, yeah. and then we're going to fit the lintel to this, lift it up, and then weld the other side. All right.
completely off the ladder. Also. It's not touching the container, so you can come this way if you need to. To get it out from the ladder. You've got a good inch and a bit. Do you want me to come around and pull the ladder away? Yeah. Snig out some rafters and put a roof over this deck.